Welcome. I am here at a medical conference in Dallas, Texas, and I wanted to show you what my packing looked like. Now, I would have done this before I got here, but we pulled everything out so you can see what I actually do. So I start with my soft shell cooler. And if you guys go to day 11 on my 28 day program, it actually has a list of where to buy this. Um, the reason I do this is that it hides all the food and it keeps it cold. Uh, I'm first putting in um, some beef sticks, uh, some butter, salt, and hard boiled eggs in there. And then in this nice little package, I have basically made my brownies. You can see them here. And then I keep them in their silicone mold, fold them in half and just put them in some kind of thing that keeps them from falling all over your suitcase. So nothing fancy. A Ziploc will do, but Ziplocs aren't quite big enough. And then I seal that shut. Put that in there. Um, then I pre-frozen, uh, pre-froze, can't speak, um, some bread and put that in there goes with the butter and salt that we already put in there so we're just going to nestle that in there. I've got some salad dressing that I made. Uh, lots of cilantro and herbs and pureed with, with olive oil vinegar. I think it's my Asian salad dressing or my quick and easy salad dressing. I have some frozen goat cheese and some frozen um, basically some nuts that I've sauteed in olive oil and salt and put those in there. Then I've got some uh, chocolate that I made that's in here that's more like a chocolate bar. I've got some eggs that have been refrigerated. The other thing you can do is uh, go ahead and parboil those eggs. Um, you can buy those little containers. Um, I've got some leftovers that I froze, um, so that helps being like kind of an ice element in here. Put that in there. Um, I'm a sucker for my heavy cream and my coffee. So I'm gonna nestle that in there next to something that's frozen. And because I wanna keep my heavy cream cold and my salad dressing cold, I'm actually gonna put those surrounded. I'm not using plastic water bottles, but I'm using them as ice. And so I'm gonna nestle the things that really need to stay cold with these frozen ice bottles, obviously never for drinking. Oh, there's a little piece of brownie. I'm gonna eat it. Um, some more leftovers that I've frozen. Throw that in there. And then the final thing I put in there is, this is just a pillowcase, organic pillowcase, uh, filled with lettuce. I guess we might as well show you since we're making a video. Um, I keep the pillowcase wet and I put it in this plastic bag so then the lettuce is, you know, not touching plastic. It's in this organic pillowcase. Then I close that up tight and then I close this up tight. You can do it with kale, with lettuce, with whatever. It just goes squishing in here and you think that you're ruining your lettuce, but believe me, I brought lettuce, enough lettuce for two weeks and it actually fits in there quite well. So, because I have a bunch of frozen things and a bunch of refrigerated things, you just want to make sure your lettuce isn't touching a frozen water bottle because then it will wilt. So I'm going on a trip with a bunch of friends and Sunita is videoing. So hi, Sunita. Hi. I brought a bunch of bowls for my friends so that they can all have lunch with me because that way someone will ask me out and I'll say, why don't we go eat? at the hotel and sit by the pool. So I have some stainless steel bowls. And then I know I don't normally use plastic, but plates are kind of heavy. Oops. So I brought three plates that I use as cutting boards. Uh, and then I have a little pocket knife and then I have some cheap stainless steel forks. Those go in first at the bottom and kind of up on the side. I don't know if you can see that there like that oh, and I might even put the silverware in one of these side compartments 
Um, you're checking this bag so you don't have to worry. I'm so, not bag, Allison. This is an Osprey bag, Osprey shuttle, and I believe it is so oh, about a hundred liters. It's a pretty big bag, rolly mm -hmm. bag. Mm -hmm. You can see the wheels down there. So then what I do is I nestle the cooler in. Now you definitely want to check if the country you're going to has any customs regulations that might not allow certain things. Like when I went to New Zealand, I could not bring meat and I could not bring lettuce. So, so I nestle that in there and you can see the bowls are kind of at the very end. Yep. And then I go like this, close her up. Then I have this nice little top pouch. In there, I have a little stainless steel kettle. Um, I can actually cook food in here. It's mostly for heating water and making coffee, but also this is a great way to make hard boiled eggs. So when I go for a two week trip, I always bring this. Even this trip, only a few nights. You know, those coffee makers are toxic. <laughs> Microwaves are toxic. So I have my little kettle. Um, it's been with me all over the world. Um, this would normally have more chocolate in it. Right now it has some uh, Paleo Valley beef sticks. And let's uh, slide all these over. So then I have a very simple coffee filter system, which is just a one cup dripper with my kettle. And so those just go in the top pocket. Don't really worry about doing anything fancy. I've got my organic cacao in case I want to make hot chocolate. I take my sucrine gold and just put it in a little uh, magnesium container. Uh, so I have my sugar. Then I actually have my magnesium. Oh, this is another trick. I actually mix all my powdered supplements together. So I have my magnesium breakthrough with my magnesium citrate with my Boswellia also mixed with my real salt. So that way I can just have my little cocktail in the morning and the evening and I don't have to have a million different containers. And you can see it's very graceful how I pack all this. Uh, usually I would take my water filter here and my water bo bottle and I would put this on my carry-on empty. But sometimes I throw them in here as well. But let's say for today that we're not. I have taken my organic coffee and I put it in a Vitamix, ground it up. Um, I have different size containers. This is like the four day coffee share with friends. And then I have the, I'm going on a trip for three week coffee. Always nice to have a few dish towels. I also bring a little scrubby to wash the pans. Salt, always gotta have good salt. And that's it for that container. So now this, you can see, kind of filled up here. Um, the only thing that I find is very delicate is these vitamins. I usually put them in a Ziploc bag and then I put it basically in these side compartments over here. Because if I put my supplements on top, they stack other bags on here. So now you can see the finished container. Then I just close it up zip it up, buckle it up. I usually have a kitchen scale. I weigh myself before and after so that I know that this isn't overweight. Um, you can see, I don't know, I'm guessing this is probably 40 pounds. When I'm going on longer trips, I'll have it maxed out to 49.8 pounds. And then the handle just pops up and off we go.